Hi, my name's Jim Brown. I'm a development worker with an organisation called Carers of West Lothian. Um, the organisation was founded over 30 years ago by a group of uh, carers, like-minded carers in West Lothian, who discovered a complete lack of support and information and advice available to them in their roles as carers, so they started the organisation themselves. We are currently now in um, Sickerville House in Quarrywood Court in Livingston and support carers of any condition of any age within West Lothian. We have an adult team and we also have a young carers team as well. We now actually have moved in the last few years to Sycamore House, which gave us the opportunity to um, have a blank canvas to work on and make it a sort of tailor-made um, building that, that suits our needs. We have open spaces for training courses and for support groups. We have quiet rooms where people can go if they drop in for a chat. We also have rooms that we can use for counselling. There are rooms that we use for um, legal advice clinics and benefit advice clinics and power of attorney clinics that, that, that we organise for, for carers in West Lothian. We now have 6,000 carers almost on our database, um, which is quite a number. We're not obviously in, in contact with them all the time, but we send a quarterly newsletter out by their email or by post just to keep people up to date with what we're doing um, and training courses and, and any uh, social event that we might have on that gets advertised in, in the newsletter as well. Um, of that 6,000, I would say uh, there are roughly 22 to 23% of that is carers of people with dementia. So we, we do have a large number of people that we work with on a, on a regular basis. The service hasn't slowed down. We've just had to adapt it to um, be more online um, and on the telephone. Uh, we offer a great deal of listening to your support and just giving someone a chance to, to offload. I uh, don't think that we can underestimate that. And I think especially in the times of COVID, it's, um, it's a reassurance for, for carers to know that there's a voice at the other end of the line um, that they can call at any time. Carers are also offered uh, condition-specific training courses. In the terms, of, in the case of dementia, we we work closely with the dementia link workers, so we provide a sort of balanced uh, training course to the carers. They get um, good information about what's available to them support-wise from us, but they also get good um, first-hand knowledge from the specialist dementia nurses. Um, so it, it works really well and has done since 2006. Really, we've run those courses and those support groups. Um, also, we do um, lots of social events. We do uh, coffee mornings. We, we do peer support groups. We've done pampering sessions. Um, during COVID, we've actually went out and delivered some um, nice afternoon teas to people that they can um, just, just for a bit of enjoyment for themselves and the person they're looking after. So it's, it, it's quite a variety of stuff that we do. We always have been um, carer driven and carer led. Um, and uh, actually in the last two and a half years, the council have actually asked us to also provide support and information to adults with physical or learning difficulties as well. So the service is always expanding, um, but um, dementia still probably remains the biggest uh, biggest part of the, the, the database that, that we deal with on a, on a daily basis. We also have a very good counselling service and occasionally the counselling service have run health and wellbeing courses. Um, I think three of the biggest subjects we deal with is, is dealing with guilt, coping with stress and changing relationships. And we run courses round about that and uh, about these three topics, um, which carers have run We've run quite a few of them over the years and, and they seem to be very successful and, and very popular. Social side uh, has obviously changed a little bit under under COVID, um, but we have done a few events on Zoom. We have run um, family quizzes, we've run discos, uh, we've run just social nights. Um, so we are, we are keeping up the, the, the service uh, as best we can. Um, but looking forward to being able to get back out and seeing people at some time. Um, and uh, make it a more personal service. I find that um, I think if I had a pound for every carer over the phone who's told me they were fine, um, then I'd be a very rich man. 
but it's a different case when you're sitting in front of them. You can look at people's body language. You can tell if there's any stress or. Um, but yeah, I'd be a very rich man for everybody who told me they're fine. Um, I'm now going to let you see a, a, a small clip we have from one of our carers, uh, Jill, um, Jill McGinty, who is a working carer and also has her mum who lives with her, who has a diagnosis, a mixed diagnosis of uh, Alzheimer's and um, uh, vascular dementia. Uh, so I will let you watch that. Uh, and hopefully you, you get a better idea of what we do. Hi, my name is Jill McGinty. I'm 54 years old and I care for my mum who is 88 and she has Alzheimer's and vascular dementia. Uh, mum was diagnosed in 2017 um, and in the middle of 2018, as a family, we had to make the decision um, as it was apparent that mum was no longer able to live independently in her own home. So we moved to the house that we currently stay in, where mum now has a downstairs bedroom and her own wet room. Um, and we obviously, um, it was a big change for, for all of us, but uh, we've, we've all adapted and um, mum attends a dementia uh, day centre four days a week um, which is invaluable to us. Um, I work part-time from home um, so it enables me to, to work undisturbed while mum is away um, having uh, a great time with the people at her group. Um, I um, found the West Carers of West Lothian really by accident when I was looking through Facebook one day and I noticed that they were advertising um, some workshops for design for carers um, and it was all to do with mental health and well-being and so I decided that I would sign up for a couple of those they were absolutely fantastic uh, it was great to be in a room with like-minded people going through similar journeys and also very different journeys because as a carer you know there's very many different types of carer but um, at the end of the day we are all there and it was it was great just to be with like-minded people um, from that I was then invited to um, an evening a social evening where we went to the pub and had a nice meal um, and through that I was told about a monthly support group that they hold for carers of people with dementia. Uh, I was initially a little bit reticent about whether I wanted to attend that but uh, along I went um, with, a, with an open mind and it was really one of the best things I've done. It was just amazing to be in a room with people where you don't feel judged if you're having a bad time. Um, where there's lots of laughter as well because you have to really have a sense of humour through this dementia journey. Um, but it's great to be with people that are, are going through similar um, situations and just getting advice uh, on, on different areas, different uh, worries or problems that you might have. Um, unfortunately in March Covid came along um, which put uh, a stop on not only mum's daycare but also my monthly support group so that had a huge impact on, on us both. Um, dementia as you know any change in routine to somebody is a massive issue um, so it became very difficult at times um, especially with me still trying to continue to work but mum being in the house um, and it was very very stressful at times. Thankfully I was receiving at least weekly phone calls from uh, Jim at the Carers of West Lothian just to check in on how mum and I were doing. Um, it was fantastic the support we were receiving e-bulletins um, giving us advice on COVID as things moved on. So it was all new to new to everybody. Nobody really knew what, what was happening. 
Um, so that was really helpful to get updates on the, the latest recommendations. We were also um, given information on how we could get PPE and that was offered to be delivered to the house, which again was a huge relief when particularly when mum was shielding. Um, they also had virtual clinics with uh, advisors that were able to advise you on legal and benefit um, issues that you might be having. Um, and there was also um, the social side of things. There was some quiz nights, uh, they were showing films um, and yeah and then the, the night one of the nicest thing personally i really enjoyed and mum enjoyed we um were delivered at home an afternoon tea which was absolutely wonderful uh mum it brought such a smile to my mum's face it was just lovely to see and it enabled us to sit uh down and just enjoy um uh, just a bit of time quality time me and mum together um with a lovely afternoon tea it was such a such a kind gesture which we really really did appreciate um uh, the situation is ongoing um obviously we're still going through this journey um and it's not easy but for me a huge um reassuring thing is knowing that i have support at the end of the phone or by email mum sees her daycare center as her uh, safe place i very much see the carers of west lothian as my safe place it's somewhere i know i can go to i can turn to them um, in good and bad times and um, i know that if there's anything i need i can just pick up the phone which is a huge um, weight off my shoulders really because you can end up feeling really quite isolated and alone if you don't have that kind of support so for me it is a, a it's a huge thing um, like i say it's still a, a road that we're all traveling and um, i just am glad that i've got that support uh, there whenever i need it